Now I want to talk about if you have children and talking to them about it. Because some parents think, well, I'll just pretend like they're not noticing or whatever it is. But children are very perceptive. They're very perceptive of your emotions, of your conversations, how you're feeling, and that things are not the same. So children thrive with patterns, with routines, just like adults. So first of all, it's important to set that up, to set something that's going to help them feel more comfortable, that helps them create a routine. And for young children especially, older children, you can help them create some goals, something that they strive for, something that, again, gives them purpose and meaning. As far as a conversation, it's be honest, but also be age appropriate. You can show emotions. Obviously, you don't want to act like the world is falling apart and everything's going awry because you want to give them comfort, but it's okay if you say you're concerned. It's okay if you feel fear because it allows them to then express themselves. Just don't over-dramatize it, but it helps them open up. <coughs> and I'll give you an example. Uh, which has nothing to do with obviously being isolated, but you know, when I went through a divorce and my child moved away, my child was pretty young, um, you know, three and a half years old, and I was looking at the situation, and, and obviously my child and, and me at the time, you know, and, and now we have an awesome relationship. You know, I love my son, uh, and my son and me talk about everything, right? So, but one of the things that happened is that I knew that it was impacting him. He was acting up, having behavioral problems. So I sat down and talked to him and I told him a story about a father and a child that got separated and that the child didn't know what was happening. He was having a hard time with it and how much it also hurt the dad. And I created this whole story really expressing the situation. And I remember at that age, because my child was having a tantrum and I could have said, you know, you need to stop what's wrong with you and punish them. But I talked to them. I talked to her my son, and I told him that, and then he said, I know, that child is me. And he hugged me and he started crying. And after that, so much shifted. So you gotta remember that you might be feeling the stress, but your child is feeling the stress. And they have to have a, a place where they feel comfortable. Sometimes they're having a temper tantrum, but that temper tantrum, or even the child, the teenager, talking back and getting emotional. Sometimes the reality is, that it has to do with them channeling their stress, their uncertainty about what's happening. So being able to give them that space where they feel comfortable, instead of jumping to the conclusion, attacking, you know, you're punished or doing this, say, you know, what's happening? I know this is not you. Let's talk about this. What can we do to improve this situation? Obviously, if it's a very young child, you know, you might teach him how to take that break. Because sometimes I used to tell my child, okay, now it's time. I just need a, a, some, a break so we can get together and come back to it. And I would like sit down and we just take a little break together sometimes or, or do something else to kind of unwind, get ourselves reset, and then have that conversation. But again, it's important for you to acknowledge that there's changes. It's, it's important for you to acknowledge that some of these things are impacting your child and will impact your child. And then you can have an age appropriate conversation with them for them to understand that it's okay for them to express their emotions and that it's okay because they, they, they have a, a family unit that they feel comfortable expressing themselves. I hope that helps.